All right, welcome back, everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I am back, and it is time for another one versus one replay cast. Today, we are going to be doing another one of these Alpha Star replays, as is usual. Every other day on the channel is Alpha Star Day. And so, continuing the trend of doing some of the lower Alpha Star replays, I thought uh, we'd uh, cast a Diamond Zerg. Going to be trying to take down Alpha Star, just doing that extractor trick. Uh, yeah, Alpha Star's PvZ has proven pretty lethal, so I'm going to be a little bit concerned for this Diamond player. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are actually starting to get pretty darn close to we're starting to get pretty darn close to actually just having the pro replays left like the highest level of alpha star then we'll have a nice bomb of that not not super close but we're, we're getting there i'm seeing the the replays go down on alpha star and now speaking of the devil we have got the probe moving across the map for alpha star just scouting everything as normal and it is indeed I have also been uh, tweaking some of my audio settings, so I'm trying to make sure that everything is okay on that front. Trying to trying to remove some of the keyboard, remove too much of the clicking noise and stuff. Uh, of course, it can be a little bit tricky doing that sort of thing, but I'm slowly learning, so it's all good. Now, Alpha Star. Oh my gosh, what is this? What is Alpha Star doing this game? Um, going for a one gate, walling itself in versus a Diamond Zerg. Uh. It totally just walled itself in. The AI really, really botched this one. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to say. Alpha Star. Um, okay. Seeing as how Alpha Star has walled itself in with three buildings, let's try and hit three likes on this video, I guess, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the AI is totally just having a meltdown. This is like something a super duper low level AI would do, I feel. Instead, it's actually just Alpha Star derping super duper hard. <laughs> I can't believe the AI is just just melting like this. That is so crazy. Uh, yeah, it's building a stalker behind this, but it hasn't tried killing its pylon. Like I, I don't know what to say really. Uh, yeah, that is that is really really odd from Alpha Star. And yeah, we take a look. We've got another gateway on the way for Alpha Star. Two more gates, actually. Is Alpha Star just going to go for a big old four gate this game? Oh, that would be so cool. I I feel like Zergs aren't really supposed to die to four gates anymore, but it's Diamond League. Alpha Star decides to start shooting its own Overlord or its own Cyber Core with its Sentry. Just its Sentry, not its Stalker. It then drops a Hallucination to chase the Overlord. Um, I am really, really not sure what to say with this one. This has got to be one of the biggest Alpha Star derps we've ever seen. The sentry is just kind of using its energy to chase an, an overlord. Uh, Alpha Star can't get its units inside its main base to do anything about this. It's now making a robo and a Twilight Council. So the AI is indeed going to be putting pressure on its opponent, but look at this. The Diamond Zerg has seen this. He's making a, he's making a Roach War and he's making a ton of lings. I feel like he should be okay. I get the feeling that this one is not going to be Alpha Star's game. So those adepts just tried to shade out, but the walls there, oh my god, this is the biggest Alpha Star derp ever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. What's the AI doing? Oh, this is the this this game is is so so funny. Uh, Dark Shrines on the way next. So I feel like the AI would usually do this build, but it would have an expansion. Because it would do its warp ad its adept warp in, then follow it up with the DTs. Instead, the Diamond Zerg is just sitting back at home being like, this is fine. I will hunker down, seeing as how I'm going up against a mad one base Protoss. The Diamond Zerg has also seen the Dark Shrine, which is very notable. So he should be getting up some Spore Crawlers soon. I couldn't imagine anything more comical, though, if the Zerg player does actually just die to the DTs anyway. Alpha Star just warps them, runs them across the map. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm, and I'm actually starting to get a little bit concerned because the Zerg player is still just making roaches, hasn't made a spore crawler yet. I'm getting, getting kind of worried. He's done such a good job defending against, like, what you'd think would be a one base attack, when in reality, 
it's just Alpha Star doing a one base derp. But there's still no spore crawler to defend against DTs. The prism doesn't seem to be in any hurry to cross the map though, so oh my gosh, I don't know what to say about this game. I mean, the Diamond Zerg is just chugging along doing his own thing and Alpha Star is just saying, uh, yeah, there, you better watch out because my adepts are all trapped in my main base. The AI just keeps trying to queue up pylons on the low ground. It's trying to expand, but it can't. It can't figure it out. It just keeps clicking and clicking and clicking and it's not working. This is actually so cool. We've never seen Alpha Star have like a total derp on this level, which it couldn't get out of its base or do anything like this. It completely doesn't understand the concept of walling itself in at this point. Ah, that is so, so crazy how the AI has done this. And I guess it goes to show how Alpha Star probably needs to practice and study human games as opposed to just uh, playing other AI versus other AI games because it makes me wonder if Alpha Star in practice has done this when playing thousands of games against other agents. But in doing so, if it actually... Uh, in doing so, if it actually just played other players who had done the exact same thing. And so it's like, this is normal. I never needed to learn to correct these habits just yet. Uh, the adepts try and shade out, but it's not happening. There is four adepts in the prism, so Alpha Star is sh slowly shuttling its units out of its base. The Diamond Zerg has got a spore crawler up, another spore crawler, and another spore crawler. So he should be fine. He should have totally won this game. The Adepts are going to come in for Alpha Star, but there's going to be Roaches, there's going to be Lings, they're not going to get anything done. And then they'll be repelled. The Protoss Agent has decided to throw up a Templar Archives. It's finally doing it! It figured it out! It's killing its own pylon! Oh, it's free! It's freedom, says the, says the AI. It can now go for a seven-minute expansion if it so chooses. Oh my gosh, this, this AI. Oh, and it's killing its other, it's killing a pylon because it's trapped this immortal, this immortal can't pop out. Um, okay. Uh, this is so, so odd that it builds two more, but like, I think it's just because the units were blocking the overlord from popping out, not the actual pylon, I want to say, or yeah, that that's all I can think. The, the immortal couldn't pop out because of that. Now, Alpha Star is throwing up an expansion. It's getting charge. Uh, it's pretty much completely mined out in its main base. And the Zerg player is just doing his own thing. He's he's on three bases, pretty well saturated, except his natural. He needs some more drones there. There we go, he builds 12 more drones. Like a boss. Alpha Star is making Archons, making Immortals, and I, I dare to say it, the, a, the AI is actually up on army supply. There's a chance the AI could still win this game, and I'm just gonna face palm. I'm gonna, I'm just... Uh, I don't know what I'll say, but yeah. Uh, this is so, so weird. The AI did eventually figure out his derp, though. <laughs> it's just so odd. Uh, it's like, this is normal StarCraft right here. This is normal. I'm curious, though, like, what triggers the AI to go and just be like, now I need to kill it with some zealots? Wh like, what's the thought process? I really want to know exactly how that plays out. Glial Reconstitution is on the way for the Zerg player, so gonna have that Roach speed, gonna have 1-1, one, one, making Hydras now. Alpha Star is gonna be moving out for an attack towards the third base of its opponent, though, and this is a nasty army. There's actually a chance the Zerg player could lose this, so we'll see. He's gonna pull his Roaches away, he's got more Roaches incoming. He does have Spine Crawlers that is natural. But this is actually a huge attack from Alpha Star. The AI does seem to be... Does seem to be delaying the attack a little bit. If 1-1 one, one is finished by the time the attack hits, that would be really nice for the Zerg. So far, supply is equal. Uh, in comes the AI, though. I mean, this is a big, scary army. Somehow, Alpha Star, despite being one base, managed to mass up this many units. Uh, that Prism could be in trouble. That would be a huge loss for Alpha Star. Looks like the AI does keep it alive, though. Tosses down some sentries, pushes the Zerg back. This is a scary-looking Roach, Roach Hydra army at this point, though. Uh, yeah, and Alpha Star does have a long way to go if it's gonna, gonna make this push happen. It's gonna have to use very good force fields, it's gonna have to get on top of its opponent. I'm not saying never, but I'm saying that it's gonna be very tough, seeing as how the, uh, how, seeing as how the Zerg player 
does have one one in comes the ai now to has tossed down some force fields or a single force field but it looks like that the protoss is just going to try and kill the fourth base then retreat these Archons are getting unloaded from the Prism. Maybe now is time to take the fight, but it looks like a pretty good concave from the Diamond player. He's getting Force Fielded once again, but the Force Fields for Alpha Star really aren't doing too much. And yeah, we see Alpha Star has bled off a lot of units. We could be seeing a bit of a Diamond victory today, and all it takes is Alpha Star simply just not expanding because it trapped itself in its main base. It's so funny. How, uh, hold that, hold that thought. Uh, it looks like that Alpha Star will take a lot of damage from the Hydras. That the Zerg should be fine. But it's so funny how the AI can make such a colossal mistake and then still have what looks like a scary push. What looks like a scary follow-up in this game. Now, yeah, I mean, the Roaches and Hydras are still just being rallied out for the Diamond player, so he is in a very good spot, I feel. He's now getting towards a Lurker Den. And we all know how well Alpha Star does against invisible units. It doesn't really understand the concept. Uh, Roaches and Hydras spilling forward. Mm, yeah, Alpha Star was trying to make this push happen, and it looked pretty good considering it was on one base for seven minutes. But in the end, it's not going to be enough. I think the Diamond player is going to win this game. Alpha Star is retreating, but the Diamond player is solid enough in order to chase him home and potentially end this game. Tutu also fires up amidst this. More roaches and ravagers being made. The diamond zerg wants to go for the W. He's going to spill forward. Uh, yeah, we see Alpha Star is just trying to micro its immortals in its prism, but it just doesn't have enough. It's attacking its own nexus with its own zealots. Uh, a couple more zealots are going to be warped into buffer for these immortals, but uh, the prism gets focused down. The immortals will be the next target. Looks like the diamond player is going to take the game. GG. So I think it's going to be pretty hard for Alpha Star to top, to, to top that dirt. Pardon me. Totally having a, having a mouth failure right there <laughs> when it comes to talking and, and speaking, you know, those things called words, but yeah, it's going to be very hard for the AI to top a derp of that caliber, I feel. Taking on Alpha Protoss, we have a Diamond Terran, so a Diamond Zerg did it, but he kind of had the good graces of the total derp. Uh, I'm not sure that this Diamond player is going to get off so lucky. Although, who knows, but <laughs> so far the answer is no. The AI not walling itself in its main base. Good to see. Well done, Alpha Star. We are all very proud of you. Now we see this probe is going to be crossing the map. Going to be just uh, scouting out usual gateway expand business. Uh, there's nothing else that Alpha Star really does for the most part, unless it prevents itself from expanding. Then it then it kind of improvises a little bit, <laughs> but uh, way she goes right. The diamond player, uh, I just want to say, I think has completely botched his wall. Uh, yeah, that is not a solid wall to the north. His, his probe, or his SCV is now getting attacked by the probe. Looks like this SCV will send it packing. He's also rocking that cool skin, which the SCVs have the little, the little blue flame jet shooting out their back. Boosting them along. Are they jets? Are they vents? That is up for you to decide. Unfortunately, the SCVs don't get a speed boost regardless. Now, Cybercore is on the way for Alpha Star. Looks like there's going to be a Nexus going for a Gateway Cybercore Expand. Not an uncommon build in PBT. Helps you deal with the Reaper a little bit earlier on. Uh, expansion is going up for the Diamond player, so he's not being hindered by his odd wall. He's going to need to build something else to get this wall going. So the natural Diamond player thing to do is just to queue up three Depots. Uh, start up his Orbital Command and then play the game from there. Now, a factory is on the way next for the diamond player, so he's getting everything up. He's gonna have a lot of free supply to work with, but that that's just the way it goes sometimes, you know? Uh, Reaper will cross the map. Adept is being chrono boosted out for Alpha Star. Should be enough to deal with this. Diamond players are not known for having the best Reaper micro. Speaking from experience, I was one, so I can attest how many Reapers of mine have died 
just uh, me trying to do silly things with them. Looks like that he may be able to get a probe. If he gets a probe and gets out, he is far better at Reaper Micro than me, and he does. So well done, Alpha Star, not shutting that down. The Reaper now going to bounce back into the main base. So well done by the Diamond player. He's going to start attacking those probes. Uh, might get another. Will not. Will lose the Reaper before getting that probe, so sacrifices it. He did see the Robo, though, so that's really the main thing he needed to spot. Alpha Star just chrono boosting out a couple of units, and I imagine it'll be that Robo Adept poking and or that Prism Adept poking and prodding against the Diamond player, whose factory is floating up, so it looks like he's gonna go into production of Hellions or Widow Mines. And then the Adept crosses the map for Alpha Star. Looks like the choice is double Hellion. Two Hellions are good at dealing with the Adept, so that'll be nice. They should be out in a relatively good amount of time to help deal with this. And oh, interestingly enough, from the Diamond player, we're going to be getting a factory up next. A couple of SCVs will die. These Hellions will pop out. They're going to start attacking this Adept. Hellions are pretty good against Adepts. The Adept is also shading into the main base, so she will stay alive a little bit longer. But the SCVs finish her off with their big meaty claws, or their big drilly claws. Okay, now... The Adept is crossing the map once again for Alpha Star. It could potentially just straight up lose this if it runs into the Hellions again. Uh, looks like that may be the case. The Adept, she turns around. She's just going to shade away, so good reaction by Alpha Star, keeping her alive. Double Assimilator is on the way. These Hellions, though, could get a lot of damage done to Alpha Star. Two more Stalkers are warping in, but if these Hellions go right to the natural, they could get a lot of damage done. And it looks like they're going to start lining up Alpha Star's probes. Stalkers are here to help deal with this, but this is going to be a lot of dead probes regardless. The Hellions killing off a good number of probes for the Diamond player, getting a lot of damage done. It's been a while since I've seen so much damage get done to Alpha Star with just some harassment. These Hellions going to be getting microed very, very well done by the Diamond player. Alpha Star will indeed clean this up, but not before losing 15 probes. That's like the amount of damage Alpha Star would usually get done to its opponents, not the other way around. The Diamond player could be flying too close to the sun, though. He throws up a third CC, which is very, very bold. He doesn't have a lot of anti-stalker production. He's making a lot of marines. He hasn't fired up a bunker yet, though. He fires up another factory. And we're going to be seeing Alpha Star just cross the map with Adepts and Stalkers. And there's only Hellions out, so the Hellions are good against the Adepts. But there's nothing to counter the Stalkers. The third base is suddenly looking very ambitious for the Diamond player. Seeing as how he doesn't have a bunker, he doesn't have a siege tank. Anything that will really help him against a mass Stalker attack. And if Alpha Star warps in more Stalkers, it's going to be bad news. And it is going to be bad news as there's like six Stalkers, like five Adepts or something. And this is going to be really, really tough for the Diamond player to hold on. SCVs are going to need to enter the fray to buffer. That's actually the best thing that the Diamond Terran can do right away is get the SCVs buffering. They'll absorb damage while the Hellions deal it as well as they can anyway. Four Widow Mines are being made. Widow Mines are good. But uh, I don't know if they're that good, seeing as how Alpha Star does actually have an Observer this time around. The SCVs are repairing the command, Orbital Command, but they need to be buffering because now, since the SCVs haven't been buffering, the Hellions have just died. They haven't been able to deal their damage. I mean, four Widow Mines are about to pop, but there's detection for Alpha Star. Does Alpha Star dodge the Widow Mine shots? Uh, the answer is not really, but there's still so many Stalkers here. There's one more Widow Mine, which will get a shot off, but Alpha Star, oh, actually picks up the Stalker. So sick. Keeping that Stalker alive, dodging the mine shot. Well done by the AI. And it looks like the Diamond player, despite having good damage done, had the classic Terran blunder of not having enough to defend against a counterattack. SCVs are now being pulled, but it's far too late. He could have been holding on much better if he pulled them earlier to buffer for his Hellions, but that's it. Alpha Star is able to get a win after a humiliating defeat. So showing us that it is still the lethal killer. We've known it to be. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. Press the bell icon to get notified whether you're an existing subscriber or a new subscriber. As uh, you get a notification whenever I put up a new video, a post announcing something, maybe. Join the Discord if you haven't. We talk StarCraft. We talk other things. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and then if you do enjoy the content on the channel, consider becoming a member as a good way to support it. I'll see you next time. This has been Laughing Games. Thanks for watching.